Farlap, racehorse, hero, hope, champion. He has been called all these things and more. But who exactly was he? Farlap was a thoroughbred racehorse born in the early years of the Great Depression on the 4th of October 1926 in Seadown, New Zealand. Farlap was sired by the important stallion Night Raid and was out of the treaty. He had several siblings, none of which ended up ever winning his principal or stakes race in their lives. He was also half-brother to four other races, of whom none of which were able to win any races at all. Farlap was bought at auction in Australia for a mere 160 guineas, or 320 Australian dollars. The buyer thought he was getting a bargain, but when Farlap arrived in Australia, he was found to have an awkward gait with warts covering most of his face. So he wasn't anything special. In fact, like many Australians at the time, this being the Great Depression, he was an underdog, which was the beginning of his reign as a symbol of hope for Australians. This was only further proved in his first few attempts at racing. He came last in his first race, and then did not even place for the next three. He was then not raced for the next seven months. However, after this period, he was entered in a series of races where he increased in class. Shortly after, Farlap took second place in the Shelford Stakes at Randwick on the 14th of September 1929, and people of the racing community began to recognise Farlap's potential for the first time. Soon, Farlap began to win more and more races, and as his achievements grew, there were some who tried to hold his progress. On the morning of Saturday the 1st of November 1930, criminals tried to shoot Farlap but missed, and he then went on to win the Melbourne Stakes that same day, and three days later, the Melbourne Cup. Here he comes now, over near the inside rail, going easy, but Clack's not going to take any risks. He's riding him out. The others are scrambling for second and third. No danger now. Here's the post and fight. Then, disaster struck. Early on the 5th of April 1932, Farlap was found by a stable hand in severe pain with a high temperature and in only a few hours bled to death. Much, much speculation ensued as to the cause of death, but with many people believing Farlap to have been murdered. The exact nature of his death is still unknown today, with the only real knowledge being that he had high levels of arsenic in his blood and his intestines were inflamed, suggesting he was deliberately poisoned. So why did everyone care? In the years leading up to and during the Great Depression, racing had become a popular pastime for Australians. Not only was it a source of entertainment and a chance to get together with mates, but people needed an opportunity to forget about their problems and hardships during the Depression. And the races, and in particular, one extraordinary horse provided just such an opportunity. Because of this, the news of Farlap's death stunned Australia. Suddenly the horse everyone was placing their hopes and hardships on was dead. The story was the headline of every newspaper and radio broadcast in the country. For Farlap was more than a horse to the Australians. He was a symbol of inspiration, courage, determination, and was even personified as having the characteristics which Australians valued, including that he was an underdog, who after coming last in his first ever race, came back to win 37 out of 51 starts. But the legacy Farlap left was unmistakable. In his five short years of life, Farlap had won 37 races, 66,738 euros in prize money, and most importantly, had given hope to and captured the hearts of all Australians. Look at the sky. So